Hi, and welcome back to Worm Watts, where we harness the God-given power of compost worms to transform organic waste into amazing living fertilizer. Now I'm back here with our bin of red wigglers that we fondly call the Rachel bin. And today I'm really excited because we're going to be adding a new uh, food item, one that's a little bit less common if you've been following uh, ver the vermicomposting space. So let's go ahead and open this up. Last time we were in here, we added in some coconut shell and we also added in a, a fro frozen piece of a piece of frozen watermelon. So I imagine that the watermelon is gone. Look at look at the size of these roly polies. It is just incredible to see. And this is the piece of Oh my goodness, look at that. They are everywhere. I have not seen so many roly polies moving so fast. And it's quite possible that I might be wrong. Maybe these are not roly polies. They may actually. Uh... So you've got roly polies, which are pill bugs. And then you've also got a uh, very close cousin of theirs. But look at them, they're just all over the place. They really seem to have taken to these leaves that we've got here. And it looks like they're doing their thing, they're decomposing them, so. But man, they can move really quickly. I'm uh, just really impressed with their speed. So right in the middle here, down in the, underneath the middle, was where we put in the watermelon, which I imagine is probably broken down. But I'm gonna have to dig through quite a bit of leaves to get to that. And it doesn't seem like these, uh... Wow, so these leaves are still right down the middle of it. Still fairly fairly dry to be honest with you so the worms probably are not have not gotten all the way up here which is not a problem at all um, and actually I think it'll make it a little bit easier for us to go ahead and add in today's new food so what we're gonna do we'll just go ahead and tuck today's new food uh, into this layer of leaves And as, you, as I dig down, you can kind of see it's nice and warm down there, which... Alrighty, so we are, you can see in that, that black area down there, that's probably the castings that we've hit. And you can see some worms down there. So, yeah, we're getting... Actually, there's worms, and then <laughs> there's actually a good bit of the uh, the... The previous worm blanket, which is this right here, you can actually see some of the, the pieces of that down in there. So this is perfect. This is a perfect opportunity, perfect window for us to introduce today's new feeding item, which kind of follows the theme of last time. Last time we added in some coconut shell, and today we're adding in a whole coconut. So it went bad. Um, I opened it up and unfortunately it was not good. But I do enjoy composting all kinds of stuff. And so this is one of those items that I was really looking forward to tossing in there. So I'm just gonna grab this, usually with use some gloves or something, but this is what it is. And you can see how fuzzy it is. I'm gonna zoom out. See how fuzzy it is. Just all of, there's it still has a uh, juice inside of it, and of course the outer shell is still quite quite firm. So I'm really excited to see what happens with that. To see what critters get in there. Um, I imagine that with the with the mold having set in already, that's going to be pretty interesting. And I'm really excited because of the 
the natural microbiota that's on these dried leaves. I'm interested to see how that will interact with the coconut and the mold that's kind of setting in there. So pretty cool to see that. We're going to go ahead and also go ahead and put this blanket back on. I've got some flies buzzing around here and I don't want to I don't want to tempt them too much. Look at these guys. So this is a wormless video so far, or for the most part. But look at all of their little helpers. Look at these guys. They're just running all around. And so I'm really excited that uh, that they get to be here to help with the breakdown. I think it's going to be important at this point for us to go ahead and water the bin just a little bit. In summertime, we don't want to we don't want it to be too wet. We don't want to steam our, our worms, but I think that given the the way the leaves are, and the whole layer of leaves being more or less dry, it won't hurt if we just spray the top of this, this sack. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I think that'll help everybody in the bin. Even on the lid, you can see this guy. Look at him. Look at him go. So we're giving it a generous watering. And I love watching the breakdown of these sacks as well, so. It's a nice breathable cover for them. He's trying to figure out if he's going to stay with us or go somewhere else. I will try to look up what those might be. But we do know that they are one of the worm's partners. And they seem to be multiplying quite, quite readily in this bin. So pretty neat to see that. And I'm hopeful that that will help with the breakdown of the coconut shell that we put here last time as well. I'm not sure what microbes and what other uh, macroorganisms might be helpful in terms of breaking that down, but more than we'll get to see that here soon. So without further ado, I've wet this fairly well. We'll go ahead and shut it and call it a day, but thank you for being here for while we watch uh, the addition of a new food item. How long will it take for an entire coconut to break down in here? I'm guessing it's going to take quite a while but uh, we'll see so thanks for joining us we tried to put it in in the midsummer when we have the nice ambient moisture the humidity we have the heat and I think those things will help it with the breakdown obviously you can see that uh, you could see when we opened it up that uh, the bag up with the coconut in it that the mold had already started to set in so that'll be really good and uh, hopefully that'll continue to break down some of the interior of that coconut and make it more more accessible to some of our bin critters so thank you for joining we look forward to catching up with you in the next one bye